Uh, good morning, once again, I'm at the uh, IH Regency on Capitol, Capitol Hill, Washington, D.C. And I'm on the topic, the amazing 5 by 12 matrix. And particularly this morning, I'm using the output, the PDM outputs, uh, to enhance some um, circuit analysis problem, circuit analysis, uh, and particularly again, I'm using uh, the three by three matrices, and correspondingly doing some three by three mesh uh, circuit analysis problem. I'm bringing the solution. This is not a problem, but the solution to uh, these three by three. Uh, circuits. Alright, let's start off here again. And uh, see the amazing 5 by 12 matrix and I see 3 by 3 circuit analysis uh, by the mesh method. And here's our circuit. Source here, the resistance there, some inductance, resistance, not a voltage source, actually this is a, a 2 by 2 the previous one we did was a 3 by 3 uh, 0.02 ohms. This is now plus minus, and the voltage source here is 100 and 30 degrees. And voltage source for this one is plus minus 100 and zero. And we have a, a J3 and you see I2 is going in this direction, and I1 is going in this direction. I1 is uh, clockwise and I2 is counterclockwise. So we work right on the mesh equation for this 2x2. Two two. And what we have here, the mesh equation will get now 1.02 plus J3 and 1 plus J6. 1, this is right now the elements uh, by inspection. One. It's not a one. This is really one plus J3. Oh, you get that. This is now the, the element one by one, one, and one, two. R11 one, one, and R12. One, or mesh one, one, mesh one, two. And for this mesh one, two, we have uh, the mutual resistance here, which is one plus J3. One plus the this is a mutual. This is what is common between mesh one and mesh two, which is what is meant by R12. Common to mesh one and mesh two. Mesh one, mesh two. And this is the only thing that is common here, mesh one and mesh two. This is mesh one, and this is now, uh, this will be 0 0.02. So this will be 0 0.02 plus 1 plus J3. So 1 plus 0 0.2 will be 1.02 uh, plus J3. This is the us R1 thing. But I mean, I'm not here to go through the, the, these details. Uh, this is not the purpose of this uh, presentation here. All right, so uh, here we have now 1 plus J3 and 1.02 plus J3. And this is I1, I2. This is equal now to 100 angle 0 and 100 
and the turkey. And like I said, I'm using, uh, usually represent this by delta, now we are changing it over to delta. For a particular reason, we'll be using delta uh, some more uh, related to divergence and uh, Jacobian. Uh, delta is usually used to represent uh, that. So uh, we'll be closely relating all the delta. Instead of delta, which is used in calculus for small increments, we'll connect with delta. All right. So we have no delta is equal now to, I don't the difference between delta and delta. Delta is like so. I don't know why I keep going into details here. And delta is like an upside down delta. All right, so here we have now, uh, delta is equal now to 1.02 plus J3, 1 plus J3, 1 plus J3, 1.02 plus J3. And this is now equal to 0 0.127 angle 74. So we say no I one is equal to 100 angle 0, 1 plus J3, 100 angle 30, 1.02 plus J3 over 0 0.127, which is uh, the result for del, when you take a determinant, and this is now 71.4 degrees. And that's equal to now 165 over 0 0.127 and 176.4. And that's equal now to one twenty seven at an angle of minus seventy four point eight. Notice again here, when you divide two by the angle, you subtract. So 176 minus 71.4 will give you uh, 172. Uh, so we say no I1 is equal to 174. This would be in amperes. All right, we're going to find I2. Uh, we're going to take a short break and we'll find I2. And we'll try to move on to some tree by trees after this.